201. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to be starting my new series um, called Tips and Tricks on Building a City. And the first thing we're going to be doing today is the seawall. Now, when you're building a seawall, you don't want to make it like one that like you go up out of the water and it's one and that's the land, there's buildings there. You don't ever want to do that. Because in real cities, they don't have that. They have a second level then after that for, like, you know, if there's ever any floods or uh, maintenance road to get around places easier. So today I'm going to teach you how to do it. So, you bring this up like this. Get the cow out of the way. <laughs> And then you just keep doing the same pattern and you can do curves and everything if you want, just if you better know how to do curves with stone and get it exact. I want to be uh, posting more videos on uh, tips and tricks, so be looking out for those every so often I might do one so and these are made to help you guys who are starting cities or in the middle of one and are stuck or something like that oh mistake I have a mistake Okay, now you bring the half slabs over here on top. If you're wondering what I'm going to do on the side of the map over here is, I'm going to uh, build like, you know, community and industrial area. Airport will be down there. That will be a special maybe series I'll do. And then I'll do one whole video on it. Okay, now I did two blocks thick, and then for the road I did six. So, you know extra room there. Drink my love juice. And now bring the grass all the way at the end, or how far you want to do it. Oh my god, I hate that glitch. Or lag, whatever it is. <laughs> and then you just bring the stone out. Now I'm not going to lay all of it because it'll take forever. I don't want to take too long in this. I'll fill that in another time. They got the subway running under there. Not the subway, I meant the tunnel for the vehicles to go in and out of the city. Okay, you got that there now. And then the grass would be the same. You can just fill that, fill that thing of a jig in. Now on the other side, you can see I did gray wool and stone. Um, I didn't want to duplicate the other side. I would look really boring. And the stone right here too, just like the outer wall down there the, in the water. You bring that out. And I did my stone on here three blocks tall with a slab on it. But uh, this side of the map is going to be floating off the ground, so I'm allowed to be able to do this because it's floating off the ground. That's why it's all random block heights and everything like that. Then you would put the final slabs right here on top with the stone on that part of the road completed. And then voila, you got that right there and it the water would fill in right there at some point. Well I'll do that. And I gotta complete a curve, but this is the starting of a curve, how do you make it turn? And for another uh, little, you know, realistic feel, you do one of these if you want with the wood for the little boats. On GTA 4, there's quite a few of those, so that makes it even more realistic. And that place is right there, too. 
Um, thanks for joining me again today, uh, again, uh, guys. And be sure to like and subscribe if you didn't, but I'm not too, too thirsty for them. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye-bye.